Fish provide specific island coastal communities with 50 to 90 percent of their dietary animal protein. And fish consumption in the region is often two to five times the global average. But a challenge now facing many Pacific Island countries and territories is that there is a gap in fish supply. The amount of fish needed by growing populations now exceeds sustainable harvests from coral reefs. Degradation of coral reefs due to climate change will increase the gap in fish supply. The good news is that the rich tuna resources of the region can be used to fill the gap. Ten Pacific Island countries and territories derive an average of 37% of their government revenue from tuna fishing access fees. Climate change also threatens to disrupt these important economic benefits. Continued high greenhouse gas emissions are expected to cause tuna to move to the east, reducing the annual catch from the waters of the 10 countries and territories by 20% by 2050 and revenue from access fees by $19 million a year. This is a significant loss and damage issue. Like all loss and damage issues, the consequences of tuna redistribution for Pacific Island economies can be addressed by limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees in line with the Paris Agreement. Another pathway involves empowering Pacific Island countries to negotiate internationally to retain the benefits they receive from tuna regardless of the redistribution of fish. To strengthen these negotiations, an advanced warning system is needed to reduce uncertainty in the timing and extent of tuna redistribution and the true cost to Pacific Island economies of the fish moving out of their waters. Further information on these impacts of climate change is available here.